Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, today I had a request to uh, make a video on how to set up parental controls. So uh, this video is, if you guys are in, in, interested in setting up controls on your uh, workstations for maybe your kids or your family members or friends or roommates or whatever, uh, I'm going to walk you through it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a user account for the other people that are going to be using your computer. So you want to go down here and go to your start menu, uh, go to control panel, and this is your control panel, and you might be seeing it by the category view, which is uh, looks like this. Just kind of summarizes everything into into groups here. I personally like to just change my view by uh, large or small, it doesn't really matter, I usually go to large. And then just breaks everything down here. So what we're going to want to do is go to user accounts down here. And we're going to want to manage another account because we're going to be creating an account. And uh, down here we're going to create a new account. So we'll just click on this. And you want to make sure it's set to standard here, not administrator. So a standard account just means like they have limited access uh, like if they want to download something they're gonna need the administrator which is you which in my case my administrative account is called daddy you know I asked my daughter what my account should be called and she said daddy so that's what it's called anyways uh, so yeah just make a standard user name it family again this can be whatever you can make multiple accounts, you know, one for each kid or one for each roommate or whatever the case may be, and then just create counts. See, and you can just keep adding, so, you know, brother. Okay, so you got brother, family, you know, it doesn't really matter. So now, as you can see down here, additional things you can do. You want to set up parental controls. And anywhere you see these shields here, if you're not logged in as an administrator it's gonna prompt you for an administrative password so for instance I'm currently on daddy so I'm an administrator so if I click on parental controls I'm not gonna get prompt for a password I will get prompt uh, for a, a UAC you just hit OK but if I was on another family account or brother account they would have to enter in the password for daddy which you don't want to give them so set up parental controls and here is uh, simply choose a user to set up parental controls so let's say for the family in general you want to set up uh, you know you don't want them to be on the computer all night so we can change it that from let's say 9 in the morning till 9 at night they're allowed to be on the computer so what you want to do is turn on parental controls so just click the on and that's going to give you the options to configure these settings here so time limit so we click on this so allowed if you can see it's all white and you can uh, left click and drag your mouse over and make this bigger that that will block time so if you want to allow time alright so if you want to let's say from 9 to 9 at night then you would block like this is blocked and that's blocked so from 9 in the morning till 9 at night they can be on the computer so hit OK and for the games you can set the games by the ratings uh, can family play games yeah sure you can let them play games block or allow games by rating and content content type so you know let's set the game ratings so here is where you can set the game rating and most games well pretty much all games will come with a rating here this might look familiar you might have already seen something like this but when you pick up a game w whether on the front or the back of the game you're gonna see this logo ESRB it's gonna give you you know the symbol so T is for teen uh, E10 is everyone plus 10 so first off you want to uh, if a game has no rating can the family play it so if it's not a rating then that means it hasn't went through the, the standards and I guess commissions and all that so I would say no 
so you know block games with no rating so which means if it's just some random game off the net or something they can't play it so which ratings are okay for families to play like as as you can see that's it's highlighted because if you click teen well then you're allowed to play these these and up you know if you're mature then you can play all of these so we're just going to keep it on teen so that they can't play games with like blood and gore or whatever the case like this can suit this to your own needs and when you go down here you can you can even get more detail like block ratings that have you know alcohol tobacco cartoon blood you know big long list here so I'm not going to go through that you know you can take your time and go through that and just check them off you know start checking everything off that you don't want any type of tag in the game will be like use of drugs and alcohol like when you look at a game you'll see what I mean they're gonna tell you like you know 18 plus uh, mild violence with strong sexuality and drug use and that's what these are for so it just gives you a more defined list okay so you just hit OK there so that sets up the game so teen and descriptions none because we didn't go through that and if you have any specific games on your computer like I have no games installed but if you had games on your computer and you didn't want someone to play and it was in their allowed playlist you can block it here I just don't have any games so no games installed your games will be listed there if they're they're selectable and then you can also down here allow and block specific programs so family can use all programs family can use only programs that I allow so for instance like if you look over here I have like antivirus and my VMware workstation and I got like some work stuff and some network troubleshooting stuff and this is my video player so sure they can use that and they can also use you know like Microsoft Office and everything so you can go through this list here and just allow them to be able to open up these these programs and if you know what exe here's here is that's just executable so don't let that throw you off just go through it and you know look for things like uh, for me I want to look for Microsoft uh, Word let them have access to that and it gives you a description here on the side the Microsoft Word right here you know so you just click that and click OK and that's pretty much how you set up parental control to just hit OK so that's done and then you as an administrator can see everything here so as for family you see parental controls are on no password for the account that's all that means that's pretty much it so if you wanted to you can go to your other accounts like the other brother here and give him less privileges if you really want to and uh, I hope that helped and thanks for watching guys